Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be going to Power of the Legendary Hero for Sephiroth Silver Crowns and we're going to be doing it two different ways. The quick and easy way for those of you that have a good Sephiroth and then the budget way for those of you that don't. So we're going to go with the quick way first, so level 4. Um, the missions are no continues, no KOs, and 7 turns in total. Can't take a friend, Final Fantasy 7 only. And if you have Sephiroth and he's you know a good EX level, Super easy. Super, super easy. So we're going to go in here with Sephiroth and just knock it out. Turn one, all three clears. Um, then I'll show you the gear, and then we're going to jump into the budget run afterwards. Now this is, you know, the high-end clears. If you can't do this one, wait for the budget run in just a second. So Reno is going to use his Silver Crown Pyramid Peak to break the boss. Anyone on an Esper with the Imperil spell is going to use the Imperil spell. You could also use the shifted form of Rufus's Neovision's Awakening for a bigger Dark Imperil, but we're just using a 120 Dark Imperil. I'm sorry, a 100 Dark Imperil. Uh, we're going to use Aerith's shifted form to um, tag chain, stat buff, LB buff, and then shifted form of Sephiroth. So you click, you click um, Aerith and click Sephiroth immediately afterwards, and it'll, per it'll perfectly cap that and kill it. And that's it. That's it. Uh, there's, there's, there's three waves. You do the exact same thing. So we just use the break with Reno. Break with Reno and peril with anyone. Click the both of these and give it a go. Now, if you're not quite OTKing on turn one with Sephiroth, you can also add Neovision's um, Tifa, the, uh, the, um, the premium version. And her shifted LB also chains with Aerith. So, super easy right there. Um, if you have, you know, powerful Aerith, Sephiroth, etc. And there it is. Turn one OTK, all the waves. We're going to go ahead and give up so I don't got to spend energy. And then I'll show you the gear. And then we'll jump to the budget mode. So, again, well-geared Sephiroth here. So, Naked Reno, he is crowned, though. If you don't want to crown him, honestly speaking, probably giving him Axtar the Returns TMR for Darkbreaker is good enough. Or you could do something like uh, give a vision card to um, Jesse, or you could just give Jesse fill rate and hope to fill her on turn one with some RNG, stuff like that. Or just use your silver crowns on Arena. I leave it up to you. Um, literally anyone on an Esper for the Imperil spell, or if you're using the Dark Breaker Materia, um, that's an even better Dark Imperil. Or you could use the Awakened form of, of Rufus. Uh, Aerith and Aerith and Red are just uh, EX2, shifted, naked, doesn't matter. Sephiroth is uh, going to be our main DPS. Um, well geared, probably best in slot. Uh, we did use the silver crowns from the lower levels on his shifted form to give him his shifted form nice and crowned. Titus SDMR for the auto buff. Other than that, a lot of damage. Um, we are using Power to Challenge Fate for the Autocast 180 Reaper Killer. Make sure you're using that from the recent Vision World. Other than that, just, you know, damage. Damage, damage, damage. And that's the, that's the clear with that. Or we can go to a budget run where we're going to use Sonin and a bunch of cheap units to carry this one. So here's the budget run. Let's get in here and do it. Now this one is obviously a little bit harder. We're not using things like Titus STMR. We're not using like premium gear, stuff like that. So uh, a little bit trickier, but certainly, certainly very doable. Make sure you max out your Sonin in the um, the Sonin stage first, though. So what we're going to do, we're going to use Avalanche, Biggs, and Wedge to just double cast Midgar, Power of the Special, whatever. That's going to give us a fill rate buff. We're going to use Reno to double cast. We're going to use his Crowned Mitigation Defense Pyramid and then Pyramid's Peak. Remember, his Silver Crowns are completely free. Sonin is going to LB. We're going to use a quad attacking Jesse to chain with Sonin because quad attack Jesse is uh, is bolting strike, um, and she's wearing a earth weapon. Uh, and then we're going to use Aerith and Red. We're going to click Aerith and Red first to start the chain and give us the buffs. Then we're going to chain Sonin and Jesse together. So click this and then click these two. And this probably won't kill the boss. You know, this is the budget run. Not a problem. So we're passive provoking with Jesse with evasion, and we're covering with Biggs and Wedge. Biggs and Wedge take a little bit of damage, barely any. I'll show you the gear at the end. He is not even stat potted. No vision card. It's totally fine. I'll show you all the gear at the end. Uh, we're going to use Aerith to just cast Curega just to top off Biggs and Wedge. 
Um, we're going to use Jesse to just triple cast LB fill just in case your, um, your Biggs and Wedge didn't fill their LB all the way. We're going to entrust with Biggs and Wedge to our Sonin. And then Sonin's going to LB again. His LB is triple bolting. We're going to triple bolting with Reno using Shock Swipe three times. And then chain these two together. And that's the end of the Whisper Crokio. The first version. There we go. I think that the chain broke. Whoopsie. Didn't matter. Killed it anyway. Okay, here is the second one. The second one will be here on turn three of the fight, which is your SLB on Sonin. His SLB is a tag chain, but it is not bolting strike. Keep that in mind. So we're going to use um, Reno to once again, um, not that, Reno is going to defense Pyramid and then Pyramid's Peak. Um, and then we're going to use Aerith to shift the LB and then Sonin is just by himself going to tag chain. So we're going to send Aerith first and then we're going to send Sonin. If you're not killing this on turn one, you can use mitigations with like, uh, give me a bit more time, cover magic, etc. with your Avalanche, Biggs and Wedge. But we're going to kill this on turn one. So we're going to chain this, wait just a moment, and then send this with the tag chaining. And that's the SLB, and that should be a very simple turn one OTK. Um, if you went ahead and got an EX3 Sonin, which you should have, it's completely free. Okay, final fight. Pretty similar to the first fight. So Reno is going to defense Pyramid and then Pyramid's Peak. We're going to use Avalanche, Biggs, <coughs> and Wedge to do Power of Midgar Special for the fill rate. And then give me a bit more time for the big mitigation. We're going to LBU, LBU. We're going to quad attack Jesse to chain with our Sonin. So send. Oh, it, um, he's resisting fire. Oh, well, we didn't, it's fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. So there it is. Here's some attacks on Jesse. She has natural guts in her kit. So that big hit at the end that has accuracy will be guts. No problem. Now we're going to do the same thing. We can, if your LB is not ready, Jesse can triple cast Midgar Special. Then we can entrust with Biggs and Wedge. Um, we're going to, let's see, triple bolting with you. Just in case you want to, you can cure get a heal. And then we're going to LB. We're not going to use you this time um, because you, you would have triple casted as earlier. And uh, yeah, so we chain this up and that is the end of... Um, I really messed up. Oh, did I do Stardust Ray? I might have done Stardust Ray on 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 Reno. Wrong chain family. It's Bolton Strike. Whoops. <laughs> oh well, it didn't matter. And that was the uh, that was the budget run. I'll show you the gear in a second. And that is totally carried by a relatively cheap to build Sonin. We are using some Clash gear, but the rest of the gear is very cheap. Uh, and there it is, and there we get Sephiroth's Amplify, his crown, etc. A note about the crowns, I'll get to that in a minute. Let me show you the gear before we talk about that crown. Um, let's go ahead and show the gear. So, Biggs and Wedge are using 100 Wind Resist. Other than that, as much Spirit and HP as you can so they can cover uh, the bosses. Um, no Vision Card, no Stat Pots. You don't need big investment. We are dual wielding his gun and a little bit of LB fill, Dragon's Brush, Call of the Wild, etc. Uh, other than that, just a little bit of spirit and HP. Like 15k HP and 3000 spirit is, is plenty. It's totally fine. Um, Aerith is just using uh, a way to cure, so dual cast, Curega, uh, Tranquil Healing. You could also use like Esper Fill and put her on Lakshmi. This is just to top off players in between turns. Other than that, um, EX2 for her buff, which is 400 stats, LB, and a tag chain. Reno is just a little bit of mana reduction and an earth weapon, so we can chain sometimes. Um, make sure you, yeah, don't use his Stardust Ray Chain like I did, big whoops. Uh, but you do want to have his mitigation upgraded as well as Pyramid's Peak for an 88 break. Um, it's optional. If you don't want, if you don't want to upgrade him, just use like a breaker material. It's probably totally fine, honestly. Uh, I don't know, but it should work. Jesse is quad attacking with an earth weapon. Um, you know, a, a multi-element weapon is better if you own it. If not, just an earth weapon is fine. Uh, passive provoke, full evasion, and she has guts naturally. So, or, oh, and a lot of LB fill, just in case. We didn't actually use it, but um, you know, it doesn't hurt. And then Sonin is using his own fist weapon, some clash gear, like I mentioned. Um, you know, a whatever card. It's not It's not like a premium unit card, although it was a banner card, but just whatever, your best card. Um, and then Power to Challenge Fate for the 
Reaper Killer, uh, some chain speed increase just you know to make it helpful, and he's maxed on everything. So maxed LB, maxed LB, max Reaper, and there it is. Now about those crowns, when you're doing silver crowns, this is the dumbest thing. You have to claim it from your mailbox. I have seen countless players from JP that will do the battles. They'll go and crown their unit and the crowns will actually still be sitting here in their mailbox unclaimed and they don't realize they're using gold crowns. So you have to claim your crowns before upgrading your unit or you'll use gold crowns and you'll be very sad. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and do Sephiroth's uh, final crown. Like I said, he was already crowned for his jet black wing. Now we're gonna use that last crown, we awaken, and make sure you're always using the silvers on the screen. Don't use your golds unless you, um, you know, just really want to for some reason, but, you know, don't. Uh, and there it is, there's the Sephiroth crown battles, both quick way and somewhat budget way with Sonin. Okay, see you in a bit.